Hello and welcome to this Edge Docs tutorial. Today I'd like to present you a brand new Edge Comms feature for Edge Animate that really makes things easier. It's a helper function to create static and animated buttons in Edge Animate, such as these. So in this video, I will show you how you can turn symbols into buttons by using only a single function. Buttons are commonly used in Edge Animate. Apparently there are some steps in the creation process that you have to do over and over again for each new button. It would be so much easier, faster and more convenient to have a ready-made architecture to rely on. This is where the edge comes come into play. You create the visual component of a button following a certain scheme and then only have to use this function to implement the entire button logic at runtime. But let's see how we can make this button feature work. So starting with the static button example, we have two versions available. A button of which the entire symbol serves as interactive part and another one with a specified hotspot. So basically, if you do not specify a unique hotspot, the function will automatically make the entire button a hotspot. The button itself is a symbol in Edge Animate. The first one is called my static button A and this ID will later be used to address the symbol on code level. When we go into the symbol, we see that the visual part of the first button is pretty straightforward. We use rectangles and an icon that lies on top. Note that this icon is currently a placeholder and will be replaced at runtime with the appropriate icon. The same is true for the label text, so we simply use label here. We just have to make sure to call the elements label and icon so that the Edge Commons code snippet will recognize them as such. To define the three custom button states, normal, over and down, we are using labels on the symbol's timeline. The script within Edge Commons will later use the stop function to automatically jump to the equivalent label on mouse enter and mouse down events and return to normal afterwards. Now the version with the hotspot is pretty similar. The only difference is the additional hotspot, which is another rectangle with full transparency that lies above the icon. We label this element hotspot and this will be automatically inter interpreted by the Edge Commons script then as long as you actually name it hotspot. All the actions we define in the script will then only be triggered in this area. And yes, it really is as easy as that. So let's move on to the code. We want to use the script within the Edge Commons to provide us with the function to convert the symbols into actual buttons. Therefore, we first have to load the Edge Commons library into our composition. We use yepnope to do that. Now we call the function for button creation as soon as the library is completely loaded. You can see that the function we are calling here, makes static button, expects certain parameters. First we hand in a reference to the button symbol using animates jQuery to get this reference. Then we define the text that will replace the button label and the icon if we want to replace that as well. Obviously the new icon should already be contained in the appropriate folder of our animate project. In our example here, we want to create download buttons, so we set the label to download me and select the according icon. Lastly, we can define a function that will be called when the label is being clicked. That means the action that the button triggers. For the sake of simplicity, we simply lock the click event into the console here. We could as well have given a link to a file that would then be downloaded in the browser on click. This demonstrates one of the benefits of this feature. Whenever we want to change the functionality, icon, label or even link to the download file, we just have to make the adjustments here in the scope at the appropriate function and not go digging into each button symbol. With the animated buttons, we have labels that slide out on mouse over. Just like before, we have the option to add an additional hotspot to make sure that the label only slides out when the cursor is hovering over the icon. Without hotspot, the animation is triggered when the cursor gets near the icon. This can be a nice effect since the button seems to meet the cursor halfway. On the other hand, it can be annoying on some occasion, so it's good to have both options here. But let's see how these buttons work. Again we have symbols for each button. This symbol contains the visual aspects such as icon and label. Just like before, these two elements can be set at runtime through the Edge Commons function. 
In contrast to the static buttons, however, we use the timeline in this case for the slide out animation and not for the different button states. The optional hotspot for animated buttons is again a rectangle with full transparency on top of the other button elements. We want to make sure that the hotspot element slides out along with the label, otherwise the label would not react on click. If we look at the code here, we can see that there is not a single line in the button symbol itself. As before, everything related to the interaction model is organized within the creation complete action. Here we load the edge comments and then use the provided make animated button function to implement the functionality into the respective symbol. We use animate's jQuery reference to address the symbol, for instance my animated button B. Then set the label recommend me, define the icon and then can use the function to define the click action for the button. As you can see, the code snippets for the buttons without hotspot and for the buttons with hotspots are pretty much the same here. Another huge advantage of using the Edge Commons extension for creating buttons in Edge Animate is that it already comes with optimization for mobile devices as well. As far as I am concerned, creating buttons with this method really does help save time and trouble in lots of Animate projects. So I hope it helps you guys as well and lets you create even more and better compositions. Well, that's it all for today, folks. Remember to stay tuned for more Edge Commons stuff and join us on all the common social media channels such as Twitter, Facebook and Google+, where you can always get the latest news and can send in comments and questions. We'd much appreciate that. See you around and happy animating!